<laughs> good morning. Well, good afternoon, good evening, wherever it is. Greeting and salutations. My name is Tish and welcome to the Artist Haven, where home plus art equals heart. And today's Tish Coffee with Tish. See here, 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 guys. Here, look. <laughs> This is how much coffee I've had yet this morning. <laughs> it's like this much good, this much. So if I'm a little blah, 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 blah that's why. <laughs> okay, gotta get some of that caffeine going in my system. I got things to do today. One of which is we are going today, we are going to revisit the epic fail that happened last night. I know this can be done. I And I want to find out if it was the paint I was using or if it was painter error because that happens too. So what angels do we have with us this morning? I see cats. Good morning, cats. And Miss Doris, good morning. And Brenda from Creations by Baby Doll. Hello, hello. And there's Miss Indisa. Good morning. I got your message about three and a half minutes ago, Miss Elisa. <laughs> I did wake up at nine o'clock or about ten to nine. Um, made my coffee and then got to setting up stuff and then forgot about my coffee. And because I realized that okay, you guys, this is how I buy my ultra white. Where'd it go? Oh, it's underneath the white paint. Satin, acrylic, enamel. Okay. This is the same or very similar stuff to uh, what Deco Art sells in these little jars for $10. I got this for $30. So <laughs> you do the math. <laughs> okay. Because math is not my forte. It wasn't a fail. It was truth. Truth. And you know what? One of them, actually, a lot of them actually turned out really pretty. So good morning, Blair. Hello, Jay. But it didn't turn out the way I wanted. So to me, in my brain, that's a fail. And it's not a fail. Like, I don't take failure as a bad thing. Like, but it is just epic. <laughs> it's just like, it's not what I wanted. Okay, so. I put some in my bottle. This is the Dutch Boy Satin. I put it in a bottle. And then I also, because we're going to mix up some white, and I don't normally like doing it like this, but um, I woke up late and this whole thing was just flooded with paint. So I will, I will, Mom E. Lisa. <laughs> I love you, honey. Thank you. And thank you, Miss Doris. Yes, give us a thumbs up. Yay. And um, just so you know, I am streaming on YouTube and on Twitch just because they don't have any art over there. And I figured if the gamers can come over to YouTube, us artists can go over to Twitch. That's the way I'm rationalizing it. Um, they do have a few people that did a few things, but I think they're gamers too, and that's like their side gig. So I'm. This is my main gig, and gaming is like my side thing. So, okay. Quit babbling, Tish. Let's find the full bottle. Okay, that one's full. This one still has a little bit in it, but it's got that stupid thing in the bottle on it. So I'm not even gonna bother. Okay, so I put three ounces of the Dutch Boy Satin Enamel in here. So I'm gonna put six ounces of this Flow Acrylic in there. Okay. Let's make sure there's no thing to move on there. Why is my chat delayed? Is it delayed on your end too? Oh, there is no thingy on here. Okay, we can do this straight up. My chat for StreamYard is delayed. So if it seems like I'm talking to you 30 seconds later, it's because I'm not getting... It takes a minute for it to go from YouTube to StreamYard to me. So I can't complain because you know what? This is a great service.
I love going into GameStop because I don't expect someone like me coming in there. I'm all covered in paint and I'm like, dude, I need a new copy of Borderlands. I wore it out. Okay. So we are going to do, this is my version of the cloud effect satin enamel mix. Okay. This is what has worked really well for me. I've tried that satin enamel. I think I still have the bottle somewhere just so I know what not to buy. Um, let me see if I can find it. Maybe not. Maybe I did finally throw it away. Or I put it in my, I probably put it in my wash bin because I'll wash it out and reuse it. I reuse so many things. Okay. So what I do is I do one part of the satin enamel. And then I do two parts of this paint. Okay. So I have three ounces in here. So we're going to do six ounces of this paint. This might be interesting, people. I haven't had enough coffee to really measure. So we're just going to go for it. Choop, choop, choop. Bloop, 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 bloop. Okay, that was seven ounces. Close enough. All right. And, it, you know, with painting, it doesn't have to be exact. Now, if I did that with yeast, that would pro I'd probably be mad at myself. But I'm not going to be mad at myself because it's just paint. Okay, then I give it a stir. We're going to tear that out again. Actually, I should have teared it out. Okay, so we've got three ounces of satin enamel paint, six ounces of flow acrylic. So that's a total of nine ounces of paint. So we're going to put 18 ounces. Wait, nine Yes, six and three is nine. So nine and nine is 18, which 18 ounces is one pound, two ounces of Floetrol in here. Okay, I'm gonna mix this up really well first. And let me tell you that Dutch Boy paint, it, it, has a, it does have a smell, especially when you open the big gallon thing and you haven't really woke up yet this morning and. That's the first thing you really smell besides coffee. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I know you have to go to school, Jay. Go learn lots. Cats, um, Jason is actually going back to school for his diploma which I am very proud of him for. Because um, not a lot of people in their 40s would go back to school to get their diploma. He's in Canada, so the system is a little bit different. So he's got to take like a career planning course, which is kind of lame. But, you know, got to do what you got to do. Okay, you can see this is really thick. Okay, you see how thick that is? Bloop 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 it's just like blooping in there so <clears throat> we obviously need to add some flow chalk to that <coughs> excuse me okay put that on there and Like, oh, it was 15 degrees when you woke up. I'm hoping it was 15 degrees in outside of your house, not inside your house. <laughs> Cats, Jason is 45. He is not old. I know because he's my boyfriend and I'm older than him. <laughs> not by much, though. Enough to be walking and talking by the time he was born, though. I always give him crap about that. Okay, so we're going to go one pound, two ounces. And this is Floetrol that I've already strained. We're getting close. We're getting close. 
There we go. Ooh, almost right on the money, too. We're one-tenth of an ounce off, which is just fine by me because we were a little bit off on the measuring of paint, which is fine. <laughs> My dad would have been 69 a couple of days ago. He passed away a few years ago. So... My stepdad is uh, 58, I think. I think he's 12 years older than me. I don't know. I don't remember. I know he's younger than my mom. It's probably why I get along with my stepdad versus my mom. Because <laughs> Kevin's cool. <laughs> Oh, Elisa wins. <laughs> Your dad is going to live forever, though, Elisa. So we shouldn't even be counting how old he is. Now, this flow chawl is a lot thinner than the other flow chawl that I used. I think it's just newer. That's why I don't like buying things at Home Depot. At least I know at Menards, I'm not the only <laughs> I'm not the only artist that shops there. Okay, stick. Are you gonna stand up? No, see that's really thin. All right, well we're gonna put some of this leftover from last night in there. There's not very much in there, but we're gonna put it in there anyway. This doesn't have anything special in it. It's just just paint. There's no, I didn't put any, just want to get the rest of that out of there. There we go. Now, she can go over here to dry out so I can wash her out. Holy crap, 85? Dad would be 92 this year, but he passed away at the young age of 59. Yeah, my dad passed away at very young, too. My dad was 65 when he passed away. He'd only been retired for like three years, too, and that's why I refused to retire. Okay, why is this so thin? Did I mess up something? No, we're just going to go with it. I'm going to grab another stick and see if it stands up in there. <laughs> the first person in more light. Thank you for saying more light. <laughs> Elisa was trying to help me with my lighting last night, and I'm kind of, I'm kind of, yeah. <laughs> I'm kind of tish about it. <laughs> like, I don't know what I'm doing. It's still a little dark over here, but I'm going to get, next week I'm going to go and get more clamp lights, and we're going to light it up. So, let's see. Burr, burr, burr. What was I grabbing? <laughs> I was grabbing something. Uh, Floatrol and water. That's the titanium light. Oh, goodness gracious. Okay. I don't know what I'm doing. Let's just move that out of the way. And we're going to put this over here. Okay. So I need a canvas. Hey, that's probably a novel concept for me. <clears throat> now, don't get all broken hearted when I pour over some of these canvases. Because I love this painting, except for this makes me think of boobs. I'm sorry. It's just boobs, and that's all I see. This is really epic and cool. But all I see is boobs. <laughs> and so I can't, I can't, I just can't. <laughs> so we're going to pour over this one. I already cleaned this one, but I'm going to clean it again just in case I, I uh, had a little misnomer. I'm going to spray the back a little bit too because sometimes it helps. I thought about getting new canvases, but then I realized I only have four canvases left up all the rest of my canvases are downstairs in my cart. And I'm like, I don't want to go downstairs. 
I got other adulty things to do. Uh oh. What did Doris do? <laughs> Absolutely, you can post a giveaway in the if you want, Brenda. If you want to post a. Uh, giveaway in the group um absolutely and and um the page as far as the the youtube face the youtube facebook page go ahead and do it there too i don't care go 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 for it You know what though, uh, cats. Um, talking about dead family is actually a good thing. I know it sounds sad and everything. Everybody gets sad because they're no longer with us. But um, remembering your ancestry, remembering your heritage, is a very important part of who you are and how you want to leave your mark for your fa for your family. So that's why I don't have a problem. I'm sad that my dad is gone, but he taught me everything I know about woodworking and how to plant a garden and how to do other things like fix my car. Because he told me, honey, you don't rely on a man to fix your car. You take care of it yourself. So my dad taught me how to change an alternator, how to change a tire, how to change a battery, how to change my oil, how to do all the basic things. <clears throat> my problem is I live in an apartment. We're not allowed to do home improve our uh, car improvements in the parking lot so I have no place to do it but otherwise I would do my own okay so last night I'm trying to remember the colors that we used hang on um use the violet. I know I just mixed a bunch of colors okay so we did the dioxazine purple okay I'm having I'm going and checking my cup my cup. Okay, so metallic bronze and 24 karat gold. So there's a 24 karat gold. And there's the metallic bronze. And I'm using the exact same paints, but I'm going to use them in my mix, not in the experimental mix. And then the Prussian blue. Okay, and then we had the light magenta or medium magenta is what they call it. Ah, I had the measuring tape out and I forgot to put it away. See, bad tish, bad tish. Okay, okay, that's gonna flip off at me. Hang on. Oh, there we go. Okay, and then I had the regular magenta, quinacrino magenta. I think that's it. I'm missing something. Oh, no, we had that uh, gray purple. Do I have that one? Yep, yeah, here we go. Okay, so these are the colors that we had in a painting last night. So, and then I used black as a background. But I don't have any black mixed up, and I'm not going to mix up any more black. All right, Jay. I'll see you later. I'll call you, call, message me when you get home from school. And I will call you. So this is one thing I like about this. I'm, I'm a little ADD right now. <laughs> okay, because I, I just noticed how this is glinting in the sun. And this is like kind of epic. So, and epic is my word of the day today, apparently. So, okay. Let's do this. Here's some, what is that, ASMR? I'll shut up so you can just hear it.
Bye, cats. Bye, Jay. Love you. <laughs> it's like picking a... No, it's not like picking a big scab. Gross. <laughs> okay. So, I'm going to put this on a piece of foam core for now. I already have one from yesterday, but the, the, you can, if you could see how metallic-y and cool this is, you'd want to save it, too. There's so much texture in there. I have an artist friend of mine, I think, that will really love those. So, all right. Sunburn, yep. Okay, sorry, I was just catching up with Chad a little bit. I should probably tell you guys that instead of just going silent. Okay, so I only have, like, this is the third to the last cup of these until I wash them. I like these. I don't like the flowers on them, but I like, they're, they're more sturdy than the other ones. Okay, so let's figure out our pecking order here. with this one and then that one there I think that's how we'll do it flowers yeah hang on a second <laughs> flowers that, yeah pink one well that's why i'm using the pink ones i don't wash those ones out well i do if i can if i can rinse them out right away i do but these ones i can actually wash out because they're a little bit they're still squishy, but they're not as squishy. Okay, so I'm gonna do this order. So let's give these just a little shake. I mix these up uh, Tuesday, so they shouldn't have any bubbles in them and they should be all a really nice thickness. Yeah, that's, we're talking between a two about a two trace, two to three trace, because I like I like doing that. Um, and when I say that, when I say a two to three trace, let me see if I can show you on the white. But black, okay. So with the new lighting, maybe I can. <laughs> so and just get out of my own way. So when you pick it up and you drizzle it across, okay, pick it up, drizzle it across. It takes two to three seconds for it to disappear. Okay. If it's taking like five seconds, it's probably too thick. Okay. And I don't have any water in any of these paints. It's just Floetrol and paint. And each paint is a little bit different in texture or in consistency. So, um, it's going to take, you know, it'll take like this. This is a fairly fluid paint because this is the Artist Loft Level 1 Metallic Bronze. Whereas this is the um, Master's Touch Thick Bodied Paint. So I have this 4 to 1. And this one is basically um, equal parts, I think. I know one of them is. No, this one is. Um, Well, all of these are either four to one or three to one, except for the deco art. I know deco art is pretty much one to like one and a half to one. Um, the artist lot, this might even be two. So I'm just going to give them a gentle shake. You, yeah, I don't think a utility sink would be really appreciated in the middle of a living room. <laughs> 
when I get my house, then I will have my own shed. <laughs> It'll actually be more like a garage size because um, I'm going to have basically two 24 foot sheds that I'm going to build from a kit. And so that way there'll be a door between them. Well, actually, it's going to be a double door. It'll be wide between the two sides. So, but one side will be my wood shop and then the other side will be my painting shop. And I might even put a third one off to be like my drying area just so I don't have to use up space. I don't know. I haven't decided that yet. That's still six to nine months away. So, because that's going to be the first thing I build. That and I'm going to start doing tiny houses. Start with a little bit of white. Just a tiny, tiny bit. Just enough to wet the bottom, basically. I'm going to swirl it around a little bit. There we go. Now, I was re-watching Mina's video that I got the idea for this. And she did a lot of more of the color and lighter on the metallics. That's what I do too, pretty much, Doris, except for I just use the sink. <laughs> I, I, don't, I use one side for dishes and one side for paint dishes. Okay, and then we're going to do the bronze and the white. Eh, get that out of the way. Okay, just a little bit of that. A little bit of the white. And we'll come back in with the purple. Yes, I do. In fact, I have two strainers because I have a nylon inside the strainer, like stretched over the strainer, but it's got a hole in it, <laughs> so I don't know how well it works. <laughs> but it's just to catch the more finer bits before the, and then and then I take that off, and then let the bigger chunks chunks go down. Okay, come on. There we go. And then the gold. Oh, I was supposed to go light on the metallics. See what happens. I am going crazy living in an apartment. That's why I need. Well, I also put, Doris, I also put Drano down the sink about once every three months or so. So that helps keep any kind of build up. Because I have to do it in the bathroom sink and in the and in the um, or bathroom tub because my hair is so long and it's still I have one of those catchers but it still gets down there so I still got to do it okay then we're gonna do a little bit of white. A little bit of blue. And I'm going to skip the lavender on this one. Do the pink, magenta. Gold or bronze. Purple. Okay, we're almost done here. Gold. A little bit of white. And we're going to do the green. And the blue. Okay. 
get the lids on these. Yeah, I can't seem to get maintenance to come do anything, so. <laughs> you know, I, I, ha I, if it was my house, I would be more diligent about my, my piping, my, my plumbing. There we go. I'd be more diligent about it and be more, you know, careful about it, but it's not my pipes. And the pipes here are 65 years old. <laughs> Actually, no, they're, yeah. Well, they're, this place was built in like 1967 and it's got original pipes in it. I've seen them. I mean, this, like the sink, the under the neath, the sink pipes are, are changed out, but like the main building pipes aren't. And it's not that I'm trying to be like, oh, it's not my worry, not my problem. I still maintain them, but <clears throat> I probably maintain this apartment better than most people would. I mean, I painted my walls for crying out loud. They were that awful green color, though. Oh, my God. Maybe I should post that picture to the Facebook group. Y'all can see how ugly they were. When you're an artist, you got to have, you got to have, a, a, you know, a nice environment. You can't be surrounded by ugly. I think they're copper. I'm not sure. Do I have time for a phone call after the live, Miss Doris? Um, yes. And then I got to make a couple of phone calls too. I promised Elisa that I would. She's holding me accountable for something. <laughs> and I appreciate her. I'm grateful for her. So. Okay. I'm not dill dallying. Truly. I just. I don't like it when. <laughs> I don't like it when cups, when these bottles don't open. And if I can help them open, I don't screw them all the way down. That's the key. Don't, don't wrench them down. Just tighten them so they're tight. You know, they're on there. You know, you can hold it by it. It's not going to fall off. That's as tight as you need it because the paint is going to, going to seal it in there. But you don't want this big, thick conglomerate of paint on there. So I'm just putting it up. <laughs> By the end of the month, I'm not going to need to paint these. I am going to paint these, though, just so the wood is sealed. That's one of my things. Okay. Oh, I'm a messy painter. Let's put that right there. It's all going to be in the background anyway. Okay. So I'm going to take a little bit of white paint here. And we're going to thin it down a little bit to pour around. This I'm going to use Floetrol and water. I'm take the stick out. We're going to put about yay much in there. These are little, I think these are 10 ounce cups. They're the ones I get at the dollar store. Okay, there's some kind of drippy going on right there. That's okay, because that's going to be in the background. Let's clean up the drippies. And then we'll put press and seal on this after the live. But we're gonna, for now, we're going to move this over to the back table. <clears throat> and I'm going to grab, this is my Floetrol and water. It's 50% Floetrol, 50% distilled water. And then I shake it up. Okay. Okay, Miss Doris. It doesn't need to be quick either. I don't like to rush people. <laughs> I. What, what don't you write down? I do the same thing, Elisa. Okay, so we're going to put a little bit of water in here. That's about an ounce of Floetrol full, full on water. And you can see it's really, I'll show you in a second. Let me stir it up. So I use probably about 
six ounces by weight of paint and about an ounce of water and Floetrol, the 50-50 Floetrol mix. 50-50 Floetrol water mix. There we go. Spit it out, fish. Okay, I put that back in my cubby. And then you can see, let me try and do this. But it just pours right into it. It just disappears right away. See how it just disappears right away? And there's no mound on mound. It almost sinks right in. It almost sinks in, but not quite. It's like right on that cusp of not sinking in. And that's going to be the pour around paint. Oh, I do need a little bit of puddle paint too. Okay. So here we go. Move my chair out of the way. Okay, where did my coffee go? There it is. I only have half of it gone, y'all. Usually by now I'm on my second cup. I did sleep in though. Okay, so here's our canvas that we're going to pour over. Move this over here. Can y'all see? Hang on, I'm going to move this up. I know last night I was having issues and I figured out Elisa... Elisa and I were on the phone figuring out my lighting situation. And it's still, it's really nice and bright. It's still got a lot of shadow, but I'm okay with that. Like back here, but I'm okay with that for a little bit. Um, I did find another clamp light, but it's in my bedroom. So I don't know if I want to move it out. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. Um, anywho, I realized that. Um, why I was so far back is because this board, this board right here is the board that I put up in my drying rack. And I usually use this as my guide to how, what my space is as far as what you all can see. Because the, the back of the board, here's the end of the canvas and like two inches and it's the end of the board. So obviously I want to work more towards the center of the canvas because I don't want paint all over my feet. Hello, Jelly Duck. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Okay, so let's do a little puddle of white in the needle. We're going to pour over this. Oh, I was going to wipe this off again just to make sure. And I'm just using, this is just um, rubbing alcohol, 91% rubbing alcohol, because that's the best I can get. If I could get... The 99%, but they look at me funny when I ask, ask for it. Oh, my southern almost came out there. I almost said X. Oh, boy. <laughs> so I just spray it on a little cloth, okay? And then I'm just going to wipe it just to get the dust off. And the alcohol evaporates pretty much right away. Because I already, I know I already scrubbed it. I remembered scrubbing it. It's just it's been sitting there for a minute, so... Probably like three or four days. So I want to make sure that there's no tish hair, there's no dust or whatever. So I'm going to put a little puddle in the middle. Just kind of like this. Because this is where we're going to try our best to do our thing. Okay. There we go. That's good enough for me. Wiping my finger off. <laughs> That's awesome. Wearing a car cardboard head from Minecraft. That's amazing. I love it. I never played that game until Jason came for a visit. I wouldn't say I'm addicted to it, but I like building stuff. That's part of the reason why I play Skyrim. Because <laughs> I can build all the houses and stuff because I got the expansion pack and do all the alchemy and and uh, build swords, forge swords and stuff. 
Okay, there we go. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come this direction, and then when I hit right about here, I'm just going to stop and do a, a wriggle pour, okay? But I like the idea. I love the effect that she got from pouring instead of pouring this way and dumping it out that way. I love the effect that she got, but she didn't go back like I did on because I kind of moved back across. So I'm going to move back across a little bit, but not as much as I did last night. I just want to see if I get those lines again because the lines were really frustrating me. So that's why I'm thinking it was the paint, maybe, possibly. So I'm just going to do a straight pour. Ta-da, I did it. <laughs> I didn't get it all over. Okay. Oh, hey, I find out. <laughs> I, I didn't realize that I was holding my breath. <laughs> it's like, oh, I should probably breathe now before I pass out. Oh, boy. uh cats in real life yes and no i have never met doris i've never met brenda i've never met blair um never met evisa in person but i've talked to them on facebook i've talked to them on the phone um doris and i are actually neighbors i live in minnesota and she lives in wisconsin we're about five six hours apart but i have work and you know so I don't always get to go on adventures and stuff, but this summer I will. I will. I'm gonna make like a. I'm gonna make a Tish world tour. <laughs> I'm hoping. So. <laughs> breathe. Yes, breathe. I forget to. Okay, let's torch this real quick. I go cats. I go live every day on the YouTube channel and um, we get a lot of different people here. Got my flamethrower. We're gonna pop some bubbles here. Mostly in the white. There's not a lot of white left. The reason why I'm doing this today is because I was having dreams about it. <laughs> or doing this today is because I have had, was having dreams about it, and it's like, okay, I need to do this. Okay, let's cover this up. We're not covering it up because I, I am worried about the other paint coming through. I'm covering it up so we get good traction and the paint stretches nicely. That's the theory anyway. So... 
That's why I do this. I'm going to put a little on the corners here. And yes, there is a lot of extra paint. But as you can see, I peel up the skins and I give them to other artists, mixed media artist friends, and they make other things out of it. Sometimes if I have a clean um, mat like I do right now, it's kind of clean. So I'll scrape up all the paint and I'll use it as a background. Uh, uh, basically, I'm a paint motivator, <laughs> kind of like I did with this white. So that way, well, I should probably torch this one more time because there's a lot of bubbles in here too. Um, just kind of motivates the paint to go over the edge of the canvas. Okay. There's that. There's still a little bit in here. Get this corner a little better. There we go. <clears throat> There's that side. Now let's do this side. And usually I bring out my palette knife to do this. But he's clean, so we're going to leave him clean. <laughs> Because I got to clean out my back studio today. I'm not looking forward to that. I got to make a couple of phone calls today. I'm not looking forward to those either. All right. That will all balance out when we do start tilting. Okay, set that on top. Let's torch this one more time. I'm more, I'm just kind of torching the white just because it had bubbles. And the torch, the heat from the torch helped the bubbles come to the top. We're going to give this one more go. And we're going to grab some gloves. Oh, dude. That's two boxes of gloves I've brought. <laughs> oh, nope. There's still one in there. There's one glove in there. Okay. Elisa, you are the light goddess. <laughs> when I mind sketching, I'm not a very good artist when it comes to drawing. I am better with paint and I am better with food, like a pipe, piping, um, cake decorating. I can make you a, a killer killer flower that way but more sculpting and that kind of thing okay so let's go this way first and bring it back go this way and we're going to bring it this way back squish it down a little bit no not yet
Okay, we're gonna squish it down, bring it down to the corner. Bring it back. Okay. Bring it down this way. Okay, now I'm going to set it down for a second so I can turn this around. Okay, my paint is right in right where that white blob is. So we're going to bring it down. Kind of wiggle it back and forth. Okay. Let's see what we got here. I need to look.
All right, so I am going to get rid of this nonsense down here. Pretty, but not what we're going for here. Okay, let's go this way. All right, I like that. All right. So it was part paint and part me. <laughs> that is my consensus. Um, I need to practice um, doing the right kind of tilt. Um, and I think I need to make thicker layers in my paint. Just slightly thicker, not much, not much more thicker. 
but like an extra tablespoon. I know it sounds really odd, but I think that's what's going to be my way of doing this. And I have to tilt more slowly. I get like all excited and then I start tipping all haphazardly. But this still turned out epic. This is like Doctor Who episode. Okay. <laughs> And I'm getting really cool. Okay, let me take off my gloves before I start pointing, pointing, pointing. And this is why I say um, the satin enamel that I use works. And you can get it. You can order it from Menards.com. And they will ship it to you. Um, it's the Dutch Boy Satin Enamel. And tell them you just you don't need any color. Sorry, I knocked over my little glove bucket. <laughs> Yes, I said glove bucket. Okay. Um, but you can see the cloud effect happening here and here and here and in these little swirly gigs right here, right here, you're getting clouds. This is all cloud. So I know it works. So yeah, these are epically cool. I'm just, I, I love this whole side. And this is kind of like, like stardust. But let me grab, I got one blue glove and one clear glove. I've got a box of gloves in my broom because I took an empty, because I, these are the ones from work that I accidentally bring home with me. Because <laughs> I'll grab two, I think I'm grabbing two and I actually, actually grabbed three. So I'll just stick it in my pocket, right? And then I'll forget that it's there and I'll come home and there's there's a glove in my pocket. So I brought in an empty box so I could put them all in a box. So they weren't just all haphazard around my room. But I like these because they fit my hand. And there's some glitter or something on there. But I'm going to bring this up for y'all. Actually, let's torch this real quick. See if anything else happens. Oh, happy day. Except for one little thing I got to fix. One little tiny thing. Really quick. And I got to find my little... There he is. Okay, so we're going to take a little bit of this glue. I'm going to lay it over the top here. Just like that. Because that'll blend in. I'm going to take a little bit. What do I need over there? Mm, kind of a pinky color. So, oh, here we go. Oh, that ain't working. Let's do this. Okay. I'm okay with that. Okay, so let's get a towel. Wipe off my knife. I know he was all nice and clean. Super Chat Cats is only if you have your channel monetized. And because I only have a, 180 subscribers or so, um, and I'm just under 2,000 hours of watch time, um, I'm, a, I'm a ways off in subscribers, but really about halfway there in, in watch time. So um, I do have a PayPal link. Um, so you can PayPal me. If you wish to do so. All right. I don't really like 
stick in this corner. Oop. Oh, I'm losing it. Here we go. Blooming thumb keeps getting in the way. Uh. Okay, it's just going to have to be cool for a second. I'll fix that later. Yeah, this is a really loose canvas because it's, it's old. I had to put the shims in it. But it's not dipping down as bad as I thought it would. I got most of the paint off of there. But let me show you some of these fantabulous cells. Let's see. You can see the cloud. Hello, Andy. <laughs> Understand that. Ready for bed, but got to go. Got to get to work to do. Okay. So. There's, look at those, look at those. Oh my God. Let's see, oop. <laughs> Elisa, I just dripped on my sock for you. <laughs> so look there, look at those beautiful cells. Look at them, look at them, they're epic. <laughs> okay, and then this corner over here, has some swirly wonderfulness and then look it got cells too it's so pretty i'm so y'all it's just so frustrating that you know glare is a thing when this thing dries sunday night is when i do my review weekly review on the youtube channel and you can check out all the finished projects um, and then Saturday night, Saturday shenanigans, and I try to have that be something that'll be mostly dry. But look, isn't that pretty? I still say it looks like an episode of Doctor Who. <laughs> okay, so I need to fix this one corner really quick before I take off my gloves again. Because otherwise it's going to bother me. Let's see. Let's take this stick. I know it's not quite the same purple. But I'm okay with it not being purple. I just don't want it being white. There we go. Let it all drip off in due time. Okay. So, there is that. And I just bumped that against the bottle because I'm a klutz like that. But the sides don't bother me so much as I just want to get it, the corners, the top of the corners, so they look cohesive and part of the painting. And I have been known to fiddle with these for 20 minutes to a half hour until I got something that I liked. But I'll stop fiddling now. <gasps> look! All the cells that are popping up. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Okay, so here's the thing. This didn't do exactly the way I wanted it to do because I tipped it too fast, okay? That's my fault. That was my fault. But that other paint that we mixed up until I added silicone didn't give me any cells whatsoever. There is no silicone in this. There's no astroglide in this. There isn't... There isn't anything other than Floetrol and paint, okay? And look at all these cells. The, the reaction between the paints is giving us back, okay? And this is just much, much better than last night. 
way much better than last night. And the the striations in color and um, these these multicolored cells. I mean, they're not they're they're more pearls, I guess, is what people are calling them. But they're not even round. They're just I don't know. They're like bricks. They're like rock. So I don't know. Let me see what you guys think. Yeah, I'm I'm loving this too. Thank you, cats. I've only been on YouTube for about six months, so I'm getting the word out, and I I I guess I'm I'm struggling with the imposter syndrome thing, where I think I'm not that great, and I know that I started my YouTube channel to be a community for our other artists to come together, and hopefully my epic failures or you know extreme successes um either way motivate them inspire them and that's that's why i'm here i'm not here to to be you know the next bob ross or anything because bob ross is was you know bob ross is my hero fro and all but um I like experimenting. I like trying new things. And actually, I started acrylic pouring because I wanted to start doing acrylic pours on my furniture because that's where I really excel is uh, restoring, or not restoring, well, kind of restoring furniture, upcycling things that wouldn't be thrown in the trash, you know, just doing things like that. That's, um, that's where I like to be. And, and since I'm in a third third floor apartment, Furniture and me are not a thing right now. Um, I do have a lot of furniture to sell, um, like three dressers and a couple of tables. But um, I'm working on that. I'm working on that imposter syndrome that has been plaguing me for the last two years. So um, I'm working on it. And that's why I'm here on the YouTube channel, because you guys hold me accountable. <laughs> Do I like the lighting set up better? Yes. I do, except for the darkness back here, but that I can fix. That I, I, I'm going to actually fix that on Monday. So, because it's kind of shadowy down here. It's kind of dark, but this is nice and bright down here. And there's no, there's not a lot of glare. I mean, you can still see my camera up there, but you can see it right here in the painting. But I don't care about that. That's something that can't be helped. That's just the way light works. But this is all metallic in here, all of this. Then you've got the Prussian blue with streaks of metallic, and then it's like little little worlds popped up. It's just, or something, I don't know. I just, I'm loving this way better than I did last night. And I haven't even had a full cup of coffee yet. All right, y'all, I am going to wrap this up. I've got all of my things covered except for my white. I need to flip that guy over on top of whoop, my extra paints here. Actually, I'm not going to do that. I'm going to save this for something else. 
I'm just going to put a piece of plastic over the top of that guy. And then we'll flip, use him as a flip cup because this got really muddy really fast. So I'll use that for a background color for something to pour. We'll cover this up. And then as I say, as I do more cups, we flip them over and we save them. And then we do, when it gets about halfway full, we do a flip cup with it and see what happens. Because, you know, that's always the fun part of doing art is just seeing what happens. I mean, art and science are very closely related. Um, I just tend to have more of an art side than a... That's probably why, you know, artists make good scientists because we have the open mind to think of theories and don't worry about the math part. We, we just come up with the theory. We figure we let the mathematicians figure out the math part. Oh, and Tish, point your lights down towards the painting. I want to see if the glare from the ceiling gets reduced. I have them pointing at the at the painting. They're not up towards the ceiling. They're actually like coming in like this like a cross. They're like two lightsabers about to strike. Try pointing them down a bit more. Okay. Er, if they don't fall off. <laughs> mm -mm -mm. But that's like right in my face. That one is. Let's do this. There, that's not in my face anymore. How's that? The one, the one on the left is in my face now. I don't like that. Because then I can't see it. <laughs> I might have to put a board so it sticks out a little bit further. Okay. There we go. There's that. See, Andy, this is, <laughs> if you're still here, this is, okay, I'm going to show you why I didn't set up, other than my scribbles, this is my mouse pad. This is why I didn't put the mouse pad by my, <laughs> by my uh, computer. But I'm moving my office out into the studio. Um in a dry, no paint, no glitter area of my studio. So it's by, more my shipping area. I know I'm weird. I have, I have like no space, but I'm going to do it. So it's not going to happen this week. Um, it'll probably happen in the coming weeks though. Plus I need to get these paintings ready so I can have a, an art sale. So keep Start saving money, people. I'm going to be having an art sale probably like around the 1st of February. And I'm not going to do an, a live auction because that's too much for one person to handle. I can't do that by myself. Um, so what I'm going to do is just have a sale. Um, you guys will, I will do a, like a random generator type thing on my computer. We'll do a live, do a random generator and see how much you guys get to have off. So um, I have an idea. So okay. So I'm gonna let this sit here and chill out a little bit, and y'all get to see the dried results on Sunday on the YouTube channel. <clears throat> so. If you enjoyed this video, <laughs> I moved the lights, Elisa. Elisa, Elisa, I moved the lights. 
so they're not shining in my face. The one I need to turn off, though, if I'm going to work on the computer. Um, so if you like this video, please smash that like button. And if you're new to our channel, welcome, welcome, welcome. Hello, greetings. Uh, if you like our little vibe that we got going on here and want to join our tribe, all you need to do is click subscribe. Yay! I did it without flubbing it up. <laughs> and if you're on Twitch, please give me a like or whatever it is, y'all. <laughs> and follow me. Help me build, bring some art to Twitch. Um, give you guys some enrichment. Get you away from the little boodities and the boodities. <laughs> All right. Um, I think that's it, guys. I will be live tomorrow night at 6.30. That is Friday, 6.30 Central Time, 6.30 p.m. Uh, you'll have to do the math for y'all because I can't remember. Uh, 6.30, 7.30 Eastern, 4.30 Pacific, 5.30 Mountain. So, is that right? I think so. But that'll be on the YouTube channel and look for it on our Facebook page. And if you would like to join our Facebook group, the face, the look for the group is on the page. So find me on Twitter if you want to DM me. Find me on Facebook if you want to DM me. And thank you for joining me and spending your time with me. I'm so grateful because time is a resource we can't get back. Thank you so much for joining me. I appreciate it. I'm so grateful for you. Peace, love, and happiness. <laughs>